What's up, everybody? <clears throat> I'm also CEO on the house. So check it out, guys. Uh, this is part two of the natural versus steroids uh, training uh, series that I'm doing. And the last episode was on diet. This one's going to be on training. So um, like I said before, man, um, as a natural dude who did shit wrong for a very long time because I copied shit that I saw in the magazines, um, taking advice from dudes that were on grams and grams and grams of juice uh, and trying to apply that to myself as a natural guy, um, I'm here to dispel a lot of the myths and a lot of the BS uh, that goes on about training. And it was funny because I actually watched a video um, uh, with Rich Piana. Rich Piana. I love Rich Piana, man. He's a beast. Uh, obviously, the dude is enhanced and he admits to it, which I have a lot of respect for. But um, I saw a video of him saying he was like, he said, oh, no, 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 check this out, man. If you're a natural dude, you can't really listen to what I'm saying. You got to... Um, you know, because he's always talking about doing a million reps and pumping blood into the muscle. He's like, what you guys need to do is lift heavy, uh, those the heavy compound movements, and your goal is hy uh, uh, hypertrophy, hypertrophy, or however the fuck you say it. And um, see, like for a natural dude, you're not going to get big or ever build some sort of a base or a foundation by doing a, a million reps. Uh, by doing a million cable crunches or a million freaking tricep kickbacks or whatever, you know, like you're going to gain that foundation and that size um, from heavy compound movements. And and that's the way that natural people have to train. You got to train heavy. Um, not to say that you should never do high reps. Of course, you want to mix a little bit of everything into your training. But the way when I grew the fastest and the most was when I was actually playing football. I wasn't even bodybuilding. All that we concentrated on was a bench press, squat, military press, power cleans, and um, uh, actually hex bar. We didn't even deadlift. It was a hex bar, which is similar. It's similar to deadlift. Um, and that's basically all we did. In fact, the coach used to make us run laps if he would catch us doing fucking curls or uh, or any sort of like, you know, like, or, you know, curls or fucking sit ups and shit like that because he said it was Hollywood muscle. Um, he said he only wanted us to build functional muscle and be beast. But um, not to say that you shouldn't do curls and shit like that, but primarily you guys got to focus on building that base on heavy compound movements, progressive overload, and stimulating muscle hypertrophy, which is breaking down the muscle and rebuilding it. Also, you got to have adequate recovery time because, see, there's a thing, dude, is that I used to do what Jay Cutler did. I go in the morning and do 30 sets, and then I come back in the night and do 30 sets again. And like my thing, like I was saying in my other video, man, I was so hard headed about this shit. I thought that, I thought two, this is what I thought about bodybuilding training for a while. Is number one, the more that I suffered, the more muscle I was going to eventually grow. The more that I suffered ultimately would determine um, how likely I was to win. So if I could literally uh, murder myself and just kill myself, then I would be closer to winning. And then second, recovery I thought was for pussies. Like, and I seriously thought, like, this is how it used to be. I remember I went into GNC when I was young. And I was like, what I got to take? And the dude was telling me about the different amino acids. He's like, well, you know, BCAAs are important because you got leucine. Leucine is an anabolic amino acid. And, and anabolic means, uh, you know, like it's muscle building. It's just going to help you build muscle if you take BCAAs. And he's like, but at the same time that you take BCAAs, you got to take glutamine too. And I'm like, what does glutamine do? He's like, glutamine helps you recover. And I was like, fuck that. Give me a bottle of them BCAAs. Fuck the glutamine. Glutamine is for pussies. I don't need to recover. And like, I didn't understand the importance of recovery. Recovery is not for pussies. Recovery is for motherfuckers that want to build muscle. For yoked up natural dudes, understand recovery. And it took me years to understand that concept. This is what I'm gonna. This is what how I used to train guys. And I'm surprised that I even had muscle left because I dieted the way that I told you in, in, in my other video where I just ate protein all fucking day. And then I would literally train guys. On about 60 grams of carbs, I would weight train two to three times a day and do cardio three times a day. That's like six workouts in a day. And somehow, I was like going to school and working. I like, don't even ask me how I did it. You know what that did to me? That shut down my hormone system. Um, I couldn't think. I couldn't see. I couldn't hear sometimes. Like literally, there'd be like a ringing in my head. There would be um, like like a white light like where I couldn't see shit for like 20 minutes after I trained. Like literally, guys, um, I had really – like I would forget shit at my house and then like I would leave and then I'd be like, oh, fuck, I forgot some shit. And then I'd come back into my house and be like, fuck, I forgot what I forgot. God damn it. And I'd start tripping and like, like I could not function. I was sick basically when I was training and like 
But that's just like the mentality that I had. But at the same time, you know what I mean? Like that mentality of being very hard headed and stubborn and doing shit with an attitude um, and doing shit with a passion, like by any means necessary type of attitude. That's a good attitude to have because that type of attitude will actually get you. It'll get you very far in life if you can apply that um, that same type of attitude with a with a. How, with an educated approach um, towards whatever you do in life, towards business or whatever. But I just don't want you guys doing that because I remember I'd be reading the bodybuilding magazines. It'd be like, oh man, Jay Cutler just 30 sets in the morning, 30 sets at night, blah, blah, blah. After a while, guys, your body's going to shut down. You're not going to be able to do that much. And in fact, you're not going to gain muscle. You're going to start burning through your muscle. And I, that's what I did a lot of times, guys. Like I dieted through a lot of muscle. Um, I didn't give myself adequate recovery time. See, because when you're on steroids, uh, it reduces and speeds up recovery time. So that's why these guys can work so much harder and um, and uh, grow muscles so much faster is because their recovery time is drastically uh, cut down. And if you're not recovering, remember guys, if you're not repairing and recovering, you're not going to grow. How the fuck are you going to grow if you're always recuperating from the last workout? So keep that in mind, guys. I'm not saying don't change hard. Go out there and bust your ass and train hard as fuck. But at the same time, guys, don't be doing this crazy ass shit where you're going like 30, 40 sets in the morning, 30, 40 sets in the evening, trying to do a million reps all the time. Like, I'm going to do 200,000 reps in the gym. Like, dude, like, it ain't about that, man. You got to you gotta go hard and you got to go heavy. Incorporate every style. You know, like every once in a while, I do some burnout shit and, you know, like some high reps. But what's going to build that frame is uh is those heavy movements guys there's no way around it everybody's trying to rewrite the fucking wheel but i mean shit guys that's the, don't trust me if there's another way man best believe i'd be on it but um until next time guys from the block to the top you already know what it is man may may muscle street may hustle i'll see you in the gym Woo! nice baby nice fuck yeah. nice good set dude Good set. How's it feel, motherfucker? How's it feel, bitch? Good set. Good set. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. Nice, dude. Nice set, man. Nice. Shit. Got it.